What I'm going to try to put together here today is a video on how to make a belt buckle. Or how I make a belt buckle, not necessarily how you're supposed to make one. But that's what we're going to make. Is that belt buckle right there. Get out my measuring stick here. Put that on there. As you can see, you could just about get an inch and a half belt in there. It might be tight, but I think it'd work. An inch and a half belt, inch and a inch and a quarter for sure. So that's what we're gonna do. While you guys are watching me forge this belt buckle. I'm gonna go in where it's warm because my toes are cold. I'm gonna start out here by warming my hands up. Get this fire going good. Yeah, let's go with an inch and a half. What do you say? And I've just got a piece of mild steel that was given to me. I think it was used to uh, brace up concrete forms, I think. Square that, square that end up a little bit. That's good enough. Now let's make a circle out of it. Get my welding plate out here. Get it warmed up. You'll see what that's for here in a little bit. If you don't already know. And there we go, one circle. So let's cut that off now. Right about there. That fire packed in there real good. Handle on this blower is cold. Wonder how it's come. Is 
that one. Straighten that. Straighten those out a little bit so we can work on them here. Put that back down there where it belongs. Now we need to scarf those and I'm going to scarf them like I saw Mark Asprey do on one of his videos about making chain links. Can't say whether it's right or wrong, but he knows a hell of a lot more about it than I do. I'll move you here. Zoom in on the anvil so you can see what I'm doing maybe. From two angles. There we go. Okay, about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to hit that, hit it, and hit it, and just keep twisting. Didn't quite get it flattened out. There we go, just like that. Close to it. It might be, not be exactly how he did it, but it's a representation of it anyway. Now, bring those two together. Just like that. That one. Now we'll heat that up, scrub it off. Flux it, see if we can get it welded. Got my lucky fluxing spoon.
And of course, deform those a little bit. Now I'll turn you on the anvil here a little bit. So I'm gonna have to take this take this GoPro off. See if I can get you up here where you can see what I'm seeing. Battery's running low, of course. Maybe we can get the tack in here at least. Let's flip that over. One thing, you can't probably see on the camera, the color of that flame is changing. See if I can get you right down in there. getting close to a welding heat. So I'm going to come out here, put you back on this box, zoom you out just a little bit. I'm going to take my welding plate that I preheated, I'm going to put it on the anvil so that my steel doesn't cool off so quick on that cold anvil. my shield down. I don't know if you can still hear me or not. That's all I'm going to do to that to get it tacked together. I didn't want to hit it real hard and blow all that hot steel out that I just got hot. Get her up to the second heat here. Now you've seen what I've been doing. I'm going to take it to the horn here in a little bit. Now I'm going to see if I can blend that in a little bit right there. I need to brush it off and flux it some.
looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. One thing is, is make sure you're always working on it in a welding heat. It's welded together. And the uh, the seams are pretty much gone. I'm not too sure where it's at. I think it's right in there. Get that back in the camera. I think it's right in there. By looking at it, but I can't tell. So now let's get it rounded off. Get it back around again, then we'll work on putting the cross piece on. Making these things has got me to realize why chickens make eggs egg-shaped, because it's too damn hard to make a circle. <laughs> 